In this screencast I would like to show how any student may get rid of uh, useless paper and save valuable information in the same time which is usually distributed in paper handouts during their studies. When I was a student I was receiving a lot of reading and studying materials printed on paper. Although it was very convenient to make notes, in approximately two years time I realized that all these papers were taking too much space in my wardrobe. Second problem especially foreign students were faced with was that uh, uh, it was very difficult and expensive to transport all these folders and uh, therefore many foreigners were simply throwing away all these papers regardless that they contained interesting and useful information. Another problem were that it was very difficult to arrange access to these materials when I was working outside of my home, for example in the library. And finally, even if I was staying at home, it took me ages to look through all these pages and find needed article. Other problems were that it was almost impossible to get access to these materials when I was working outside of my home, for example at the library. And finally, even when I was staying at home, it was taking me hours to look through all these pages and find the needed piece of information. So, what can be done about it? A solution which I suggest consists of four main steps. At first step, it is necessary to scan all these materials to a graphic format. Although almost any popular can be used, it is better to choose one with multi-page support because uh, it is easier to work when each multi-page document is saved in a separate file. Personally, I choose the PDF format. Second step is with the help of uh, Abbey Fine Reader to convert scanned documents into searchable PDFs. A third and fourth steps, searchable PDF files are saved on a computer hard drive or USB drive for local use or in case you would like to have access to these materials uh, from any computer connected to the internet, you may upload uh, them to an FTP server or to a cloud service, such as Google Docs or Dropbox, for example. Fine, now let's take a look how it works in practice. I scanned three articles to PDF files and save them to this folder. And uh, as you may see, one of these articles uh, consists of uh, six pages. Now let's make these PDF files searchable. I launch Abifine Reader and in standard tasks menu I select Adobe PDF bookmark and here it is necessary to choose conversion of image files taken from folder to PDFs. But I would like to check some basic uh, settings before I run this task. So first of all uh, all my articles are written in English, however, as you may see, Abifine Reader supports lots of different languages which can be used separately or together. That means that it is possible to convert even multilingual documents. It is even possible to let Fine Reader automatically detect uh, document languages. However, since I know that all my articles are in English, I will specify this language to make the program work faster. Another one interesting option is that it is possible to play with output images quality and actually the better quality we set, the larger PDF we get at output. And since uh, I don't mind about file size, I will choose best quality option. And now we are ready to proceed uh, with the conversion of our articles. So I click uh, on task image file to PDF and at this step it is necessary to select uh, our articles and uh, as you may see Abifine Reader may automatically detect page orientation and rotate pages if it is necessary. So I press open and now Abifine Reader opens uh, uh, the files and uh, automatically starts uh, recognition process which will take uh, several minutes. At this point recognition process was finished and we are ready for export. All we have to do just to press uh, 
save uh, as a PDF document and here we specify a location so it is already selected correctly out and uh, also it is necessary to choose name files as source image because in this case all our articles will be saved in separate PDF files exactly like we imported them. So I press save button and in less than one minute we will obtain searchable PDFs in output folder. Okay, let's open it and take a look on our files. Here they are. And now, as you can see, these files are searchable. That means uh, that uh, you can run search uh, uh, inside the text of these articles. For example, let's uh, try to find word profit. So I type it here, profit. And here it is. And uh, also, for instance, if you are writing an essay and you would like uh, to make a quotation, it is uh, possible to copy any part of this text and uh, then uh, paste it uh, to any application, for instance, uh, to Notepad, as simple as that. So this is another advantage of uh, searchable PDFs. So exactly in the same manner I scanned and converted into searchable PDFs the most interesting materials of uh, my MBA program. I saved them on my local hard drive and since uh, Windows 7 automatically indexes uh, searchable PDF files, I'm not wasting any more time whenever I need to find a piece of information in these materials. Uh, for instance, uh, I would like uh, to find uh, some articles related uh, to SWOT analysis. All I have to do just to type in this search field SWOT and uh, immediately Windows uh, shows me list of files where information about this uh, kind of analysis can be found. So let's open one and let's uh, run the search inside this document. So I type SWOT and uh, here it is. This document really contains some slides related to SWOT analysis. So it took me around several seconds to find necessary uh, information, uh, whereas when I was working with paper documents, uh, I needed uh, hours. And in order to have access to all these materials from any computer connected to the Internet, I uploaded all these searchable PDF files to my private FTP server and a cloud storage service called Dropbox. So in case I'm out of uh, my home or I don't have my laptop with me, all I have to do is just run browser and either log in to my FTP server or open my Dropbox account. So this is how it works and now I believe that you won't have any problems with conversion of useless paper documents into valuable and accessible information. Thank you very much for your attention and don't forget that uh, you may get three trials of Abby Fine Reader at www.finereader.com.